we're thinking about what is sea level going to be like in 10 years, whether you're building a, a dike around your town or, um, or anticipating how far inland to move coastal cities in Florida, um, this glacier is a big piece of that question. And this is the location to be asking these questions at. We're, we're standing right on it. This is a historic moment, the first time anyone has tried to drill down through this glacier. Beneath the 600 metres of ice below me is the most important point of all, the point at which the ice meets the ocean water. This is IceFin. It's a, it's a NASA-funded robot submarine. This is the first time any measurements have been taken beneath what they call the, the Doomsday Glacier. It's the first time anyone has seen this. This is the point where the ice meets the warmer ocean water. It's the place where this, this huge glacier is rapidly melting. So this glacier is significant because it is huge um, and it's deep, it's thick. There's a giant volume of ice here. The bottom of the ice is below sea level. And so that means that it's very sensitive to change. So the ocean can very easily melt in and thin this glacier. So Thwaites Glacier is really remote. It's right at the heart of the vast basin of ice that's West Antarctica. The glacier is the size of the UK. It's the stormiest part of the stormiest continent in the world and more than a thousand miles from the nearest research station. All this broken ice is almost 100 miles long. The ice rises almost a mile from the seabed and it's collapsing into the sea at two miles a year. If Thwaites melts, it'll increase sea levels worldwide by half a metre. But it sits in the middle of the West Antarctic ice sheet and there's three metres more of sea level rise locked up in that. Stand by. Three, two. We have just detonated a shot and recorded the energy, um, the echo from the explosion, in order to map the grounding zone, so the point where the glacier glows afloat on the ocean. It is changing, it is migrating inland, and so this huge reservoir of ice behind us is becoming vulnerable to the ocean melting um, that's happening out there. Let's be clear, the ice here isn't going to vanish overnight. It'll take decades, maybe even centuries, for Thwaites to go. But as the work here has confirmed, it is melting increasingly rapidly. And that will mean huge changes for us all.